Hey there, are you developing a game where you want to display an ability or an item in your player's HUD? Would you like to change the visuals to a desaturated black and white version when it's on cooldown or it is not active? In this video, we will tackle that. We will create a UMG widget that can accept any texture as an input. Through the use of dynamic materials, it can then transform itself between a colored version and a black and white version. Let's get started. For this video, we will use a couple of images. So we will have three images for our items, one image as an example for our material and one image as a background. First, we will start with the material itself. Let's create a new material by right-clicking and selecting material. I will call it mhut item widget image 2 in this case. Okay. Okay, first let's change our material domain from surface to user interface. And also because we want to support uh, transparent images from blend mode from opaque to translucent. Then we can grab one of our images. Let's just grab this one and convert it to a parameter. Let's call it image. We need a second parameter that controls how desaturated the image appears. We can press 1 on the keyboard and left click, then a scalar parameter will appear. And we can also convert it to a parameter and just call it uh, active. Let's go for a 1 minus. Then it will mean that the 1 is fully colored and 0 will be completely desaturated and black and white. We can grab the RGB and uh, use a desaturation node. And the fraction will be our 1 minus value. Let's plug it into the final color and it should appear as a black and white image. If it's a 1, it should be colorized. Okay, awesome. If we just move the alpha to the opacity, then it should work also. Awesome. And the material is already done. Now, normally you would create material instances and just change the texture parameter to the texture you would like to use. But in the case of abilities and items, this is not really feasible as you would need to create a new instance for each individual item image. That's why we will use dynamic materials in this case. A dynamic material can change parameters on the fly and is perfect for such a scenario. We can um, create a new widget, but let's do it in C++. So just switch to your IDE. And under source, just create a new Unreal class and search for user widget. For the user widget, I will just call it, um, in this case, item widget, because it should display an item which is, or, or which can be on cooldown. Let's create a protected section and for the first parameter, we want a variable which is of type material. So we can assign our material, which we just created as a parent template. Um, let's just use your property in this case and edit defaults only. And use a object pointer with um, your material instance or your material, both are fine. Um, and let's call it image material template. Okay, we need a function. So we use a native construct function, which is exactly like the blueprints version construct function. We will just generate our function definition. Okay, what we forgot is also a variable for our image. So the widget will display the image. So we need some variable to access the image widget. Uh, we can do this by doing a U property and also assigning a meta tag with bind widget and then a object pointer to U image. 
and we just can call it image. Okay. Inside the native construct, we will now create a dynamic material instance. Um, in order to create a dynamic material instance, we need to use also a second variable. For this, it could be beneficial if we just do a uProperty again and do a T object pointer again with U material instance dynamic. And this will be our image material instance. So we have a template, we have the image, and we have our instance, which we will create in a second. Creating the instance, so creating the dynamic material is pretty easy in C++. You just need to assign it like image material instance equals um, U material instance dynamic, and then just create. And then, and then it will ask you for a couple of things. For example, it will ask you for the template, which material this instance uh, is based off. So we use our image material template and it will ask for our outer. So the in outer is uh, basically um, the uh, owner of the dynamic material. Uh, so I will just use uh, this. Now we can just wrap our image and do set brush from material. And assign our new instance. Okay, so this is working. We have created our new dynamic material and we assigned our dynamic material instance to the image widget, but we didn't assign the texture parameter yet. We can do this by creating yet another variable. Um, let's create a U property and do edit anywhere. And use a object pointer with texture 2D. So it should be U texture 2D. And this should be the image texture. So edit anywhere in this case because we want to be able to create our widget in some other parent widget and be able to assign the texture to it. And we can control our. Um, Saturation also by an edit anywhere load variable. We call it, um, we could call it active. Yeah, let's call it active, but maybe the saturation would also be nice. Let's call it saturation, even though in our material it is called um, active. Okay, so we have both of these. We can now just grab our material instance and set the parameter. So we want to set the texture parameter value and we have a uh, name. So our name for the um, image was just image. And we will assign the image texture. And for our saturation, we will use a scalar parameter value. In this case, we will use active and we will assign the saturation in this case. Okay, so we are done. Um, I will just need to close this very soon and recompile. Okay, so we have another problem. So it's not compiling because it cannot find some of the U widget functions. Um, if you go to your build CS file, you can extend your um, module names, so the dependencies, and we will need to add also the UMG dependency, and then it should work. Okay, we are back now. We can now create a user interface widget. Let's create a widget blueprint and do all classes and search for your new um, widget. In this case, I called it item widget. So let's use um, widget blueprint uh, item widget. Okay, so in our bind widgets tab, we have the image now, which is not bound. And this would throw an error if we compile, as you can see. 
So let's just grab an image. Paste it in here. We can just leave it as it is, I guess. No, we need to call it image also. Like this. And now it's compiling. Awesome. Then we can grab our graph and go into the class defaults and now you can see that we have our three different parameters which we set in our um, c++ class we can um, use our material template which we just created so i will grab this one and just uh, grab one of these textures let's choose this one Unfortunately, the image will not appear in the widget designer. The reason is pretty simple. We use the native construct function, which is only called in the runtime of the project. In order to be able to view the image with the assigned material in the designer, let's add a pre-construct function instead and copy the dynamic material setup to the pre-construct function from the native construct function. Then we just use the live compiler in this case because we just changed the C++ class. Okay, now everything is compiled. And yeah, it works. So now we have our um, graph which is displaying it as a um, desaturated image. Let's use the one in order to check if it's also working as a colored version and it's working. Nice. So our image is working. We can just sign a size box here also. Let's go for Yeah, now it's better with the aspect ratio. And as an example, let's just create another widget. Um, which will display our items in a row. So you can see that it is working for multiple items without ever modifying uh, or creating new material instances. I would just call it HUD in this case, even though it is not HUD. And we can now search for our item widget. And it appears here. As you can see, it shows the item widget base class and the um, widget blueprint item widget, which should not happen because our C++ class is just an abstract version and um, it needs to be implemented by our blueprints. We can change this in order uh, to not show up all the time um, by just adding a abstract modifier here. So. Okay, let's recompile again, and then it should not show up anymore. Nice. And as you can see, it doesn't show up anymore. It's just our widget blueprint. Let's grab it and edit. Okay, we just need a canvas. Or let's just use a horizontal box. And just duplicate it four times or five times. Yeah, as you can see, the item widget is working. You can assign any image you like without ever creating any new material instances. And you can even change the parameter so the image becomes a grayscale image. So you could even change it in the animation tab as an animation. And that wraps up our tutorial for displaying images in Unreal widgets using dynamic material instances. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button and see you in the next one.